Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, by clicking that subscribe button. So we are on day eight out of my 13 nights of fright. Remember, unofficial 13 nights of fright. And today we're talking about aliens. Aliens is rated R. It came out in 1986. It is two hours and 34 minutes long. It is written and directed by James Cameron. We do get Sigourney Reaver back reprising her role as Ripley. Now I kind of fucked up with this one you guys because I assumed that it was a horror sci-fi film like part one was but no it is a action sci-fi film. Now, like I said when I did my review on Season of the Witch, I don't have time to rewatch another movie because I already have them laid out on what I'm going to be talking about. So we're just going to keep with it. And I'm going to continue to incorporate it here within my 13 Nights of Fright, even though it's technically not considered a horror movie. But, you know, we have aliens in here, so we're just going to... We're gonna roll with it, you guys. Don't judge me. Don't come after me. We're just gonna roll with it, all right? James Cameron did take a different direction than what Ripley Scott did in Alien. Of course, two different uh, directors. I mean, let me just say, Alien is also an awesome movie, to be honest with you. I don't really know which one I like better, Alien or Aliens. I don't know. I guess it just depends on the type of mood. Aliens definitely is more action pack given it is a action sci-fi movie so if you do like more of the action type of movie then this will definitely be your favorite movie i would feel because part one doesn't have as much action as this one there's a way more bullets involved within this movie uh we do have marines incorporated also here james cameron knows how to do fucking sequels he did terminator 2 and do start off the movie where uh alien left off with ripley um being in hypersleep now a lot of time has passed not like months or even like a year or two but 57 years have actually passed so before i do keep going any further um i ended up watching the uh, special edition version not the theatrical version oh and you can currently watch this on hbo max really ship actually ends up getting picked up by like this salvage team and of course lone survivor well lone human survivor because the cat of course you know survived yes we do see the cat again in this movie the cat did not piss me off in this movie because we only see him at the beginning and he kind of stays safely within the ship while they go back to planet with the uh people that are living there now because again 57 years past the planet where these alien pawns were found there's now people living there of course you know everything goes to shit when you know the aliens get found when the pods get found the planet is now breathable they they set up some sort of dis um distance they said they set up some sort of device fancy little shit that apparently makes the uh, air breathable so they no longer need like the spacesuits like we did in part one we get to see mama alien in this one as well which is obviously the big one who's just like laying on the eggs and obviously it's called aliens so we do get more than one alien and part one it was literally just the one alien there is a little girl in this movie uh, her name is rebecca she likes to go by newt and the little girl did not annoy me. I got a little bit worried because I was like, oh my god, the little girl is just going to take off. She's going to be dumb. Like, she's just going to annoy me. They're going to get killed because of this damn little girl. She actually didn't annoy me. Uh, she did have a couple of really nice one-liners as well. There's a particular scene at the beginning of the movie when we do get to meet the crew. Um, and apparently that particular scene, little fun fact... That particular scene was actually filmed last. Well, one of the last scenes that was actually filmed because James Cameron wanted to have that feel of, yeah, this is a group of people that have been together for a long time. Another little fun fact, so Gwen Weaver was actually nominated for her performance as Ripley in Aliens. While I am within the talks of Sigourney Weaver, I do want to say that I finally see that badass version of her. Part one, I didn't really feel feel it too much but i did get more of it in this particular film also the ship in this particular film was all fancy and new and sparkly um i know from alien i did mention how i like the grungy look from that war more of a worn down type of look to it but again 50 something years have passed we are getting more towards that newer technology deal and yeah we do have that nicer looking ship in this one uh we also i guess got like a little 
taste to FaceTime in a way as well with the old school like computer. I really liked how they had like that little card that you kind of stick in there. I guess like, like to dial the phone number. You don't actually dial anything. You just kind of stick the number, the not the number, the card in there and it dials the next person. And you know, you get your little FaceTime moment there and then you just kind of take it off to disconnect. I definitely think it is worth the watch. Go ahead and just binge watch the fucking series so with that said i'm gonna go ahead and give it a large popcorn same thing like i did in part one like i said they're super awesome we're getting close to the end i still don't know if i'm gonna be able to complete the series i'm still like Ugh. so if you've seen aliens let me know down below what did you guys think about it did you like it did you, like it? Did you hate it was it just not for you do you prefer part one or part two if you want to incorporate part three and four go ahead let me know down below how do you rank the the aliens franchise you don't have to incorporate alien versus predator or the other ones if you don't want to but of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet i would truly appreciate it if you can help me get to 300 subscribers i am almost there and of course don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new i'll see you guys tomorrow to talk about psycho bye